So yesterday, Becca and I went to Dutch Bros. It was like 6 p.m. and we're like, you know, we don't really, I always get a nitro cold brew. And I was like, you know, we really don't need this much caffeine at six o'clock at night. So they will give you like a Papa Murphy's style, like assemble it at home yourself situation. That's what we convinced them. So I'm still trying to figure out if we can get the cold brew, like buy it by the case. And then homie just gave me some sugar free vanilla on it. So he's like, when you pour this, the nitro's activated by like tipping it upside down three times. So this is real thing to activate. He's like, I think it's fun. I think it's a good time. I still can't believe that they I still can't believe that they let us just like I don't know if this is how you do it. You said three times. I feel like the more it's shaking up, the better I feel like I'm shaking. I might get, I might get my little blending deal and mix it up. So delicious. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. It's coffee either way. It's just like canned coffee, so it should be fine. But maybe this will make it more nitro-y. But I'm super stoked about it. Now all I have to do is add ice. And I'm like ready to rock and roll to go to church and have Dutch Bros. So if you can buy these by the case, let me know because I would get these. Becca got a Sugar Free Rebel, uh, which like they both come in really cool cans. So Dutch Bros, you should definitely sell this by the case if you don't already. If you do, I will find it. So it's hard to take you with me to the gym because it's still dark outside so I feel like the lighting is weird. But I'm gonna try and take you all through my whole day. I have a lot to do today. It is Thursday. I plan to go to the gym, go tan. I'm gonna go get Dutch Bros as like a for me thing because I've been feeling crappy lately. Um, like physically, mentally, I'm still exhausted, all of it. So I'm gonna go do that for myself. I might go to Academy and I'll honestly nothing exciting. I just really need new socks. And then there's a gym up north that I really want to try, but I don't want to go try alone. Uh, it's super bougie, but it looks like a sweet gym. And it actually has like bodybuilding equipment versus powerlifting equipment. Um, because it's really hard, especially at like the Anytime Fitness gyms, because they don't have Olympic plates. So they don't have like 45 sized 10 pound plates um, because while I can pull 45 pound plates, you know, or do RDLs with 45 pound plates, that's not my warm up. So then I end up stacking a bunch of weights on top of each other. And like, especially the weights at Georgia, they're weird where they're not solid plates. So I really would like to, even if it means I drive to Amarillo five days a week, I really would like to be able to find an actual bodybuilding gym instead of like these corporate franchise gyms because it's more of what I'm looking for. So I might go look at that today. I might not. I haven't decided yet. Also, TrueFit was nice. Uh, it's just, again, like it's a long ways to drive one way every day. So... But if it's worth it, I'll do it. If you have recommendations for gyms in Amarillo and Canyon, let me know. I just got done tanning. I have to take different clothes, especially if I go to the gym first, because the clothes that I had to sort of the gym are absolutely disgusting. So I am headed to Dutch Bros now. 
to get me a medium nitro cold brew with sugar-free vanilla and I'm really stoked about it because I normally don't take much time to go do things for me and get stuff that I like really like so that's kind of like this morning is what I'm doing but um I'm excited I also feel like since I'm sitting in line at Dutch Bros doing nothing else, I should update y'all on what I've been doing. Um, Ryan and I did these literally last night. I'm not meant to have my nails done. I'm too, I mean, it's sitting right here and like, I can glue it back on. I'm just not meant to have them done. I like them a lot when they are, but this one didn't even last 24 hours. So, um, what else? I've been doing grad school and that's been good. I've been more productive a little bit recently than I have like when classes first started. It's super confusing to take forensics, ethics, and auditing all at the same time because you talk about a lot of the same cases. So that's kind of confusing. Um, but other than that, it's going really well. I've been going to the gym. I started phase two of ETK Fits um, 2.0 transform program and I feel like that's been going well they're killer workouts I've been trying to do better about eating not eating intuitively but like literally just eating enough and I've been doing a lot better with that I am getting excited I have a lot of stuff planned in October that I'm excited for and I normally hate October so I'm hoping that it goes better this year um october is not my favorite month but the finals are gonna be a lot of fun and i got a house for that and a bunch of friends are going but that should be fun i just have to make it through september and a bunch of big projects that i have for grad school that's basically all i do is go to the gym and do grad school work so and cook meal prep. I don't love to cook, but I've been doing a lot of meal prep so I can just heat stuff up and not think about it. I don't, I think I've said this before that I don't like to have to decide every single day, every single meal, what I'm gonna eat. So it's way easier for me to make meal prep. So I'm like, oh, yep, now that's 400 calories. I'm gonna eat that. Now that's 200 calories. I'm gonna eat that. So that's super handy. I think I'm gonna make meatballs and rice today. I think that would be good with turkey sausage and ground beef. And I am trying to decide between jasmine rice and regular brown rice. Only time will tell. Have a great Thursday. So I was going to take y'all with me through the Dutch line when I ordered, but then I remembered that I had a free medium drink. And yes, it's one o'clock and I'm still trying to get a drink, but I order it as a nitro cold brew medium with sugar-free vanilla because I think it's easiest for them to put it in. Anyway, still trying to drink it and my water. Get both so you drink both at the same time. But I'm going to make meatballs. So I have a pound of turkey sausage, a pound of regular ground beef, and then these two. Uh, I'm going to use these packages instead of making regular rice because I feel like I don't have the patience to make regular rice right now. I can barely focus to like come out here to do, to make meatballs. I've been sitting in there trying to work on school stuff and it hasn't worked. I have this big audit assignment to do and it hasn't worked yet. So I'm gonna come out here and make these for lunch and see if that helps. Like I'll go put these in the oven and then I'll go work on it and come back and forth and see if that helps. But anyway, I'll take y'all through how I'm gonna make these because it's gonna be really easy. And yes, I know I need to eat vegetables. I've been really bad about that lately, so I just randomly add spinach to everything because you can't taste it and it's really good for you. So I know I need to eat more vegetables and I'm working on it, sorry. Bye. 
Thank you. 